the steel cage will be erected around the ring and two warriors will go inside. Neither will leave the same. Pure Trash Ron Mathis will square off against my guest at this time, the director, Derek Dillinger. What did I tell Ron Mathis last time we talked? Or what did I tell Ron Mathis the last interview I did? What did I tell him? What did I say? Look into this camera right now and repeat what I said. You said you were gonna cut off his head. More, more emotion, say it. You said you were gonna cut off his head. More emotion! You were going to chop his head off and bathe in his blood. That is not exactly what I said. You're a moron. You need to hit the bricks, go. I don't even want, get, get out of my interview, get. Don't hold the microphone, leave, leave, leave. OCW, Ron Mathis, I said I'm going to decapitate you and I'm going to hold your stupid little head over my head. And that blood's going to shower out and it's going to bathe. I'm going to bathe in it, Ron Mathis. I stepped into OCW as a turning point. The Neon Tarantino returned because I'm sick of playing second fiddle. I'm sick of everyone sleeping on Derek Dillinger. Ron Mathis, tonight, I am going to make a movie of Technicolor Terror, and I'm going to murder you. I don't care what happens. I don't care uh, what repercussions I have to face. Ron Mathis, there's a new hardcore guy in Ohio, and it's Derek Dillinger. Your time here in OCW is up. Cut. There is a lot of commotion. There's a lot of chaos. Dillinger not coming to the ring alone. He's got a little friend with him. A solid steel chair. The man said he would decapitate Ron Mathis tonight and bathe in the blood. I don't know what more to say. He wants to put Ron Mathis's head on a damn pike. Give me that battery. Get that battery. Oh, wait a minute. Now he's hiding. Oh, God. They're, they're not going to wait. We might not be safe.
Mathis is not aware. Oh! Damn! And they're not gonna wait to get this in the cage. From behind, a sneak attack with the steel chair. Oh God, they're coming around the cage. This match is not, oh, oh God. a suplex on the floor. Jesus. Dillinger is dangerous. If you've seen him anywhere, you know what Derek Dillinger is capable of. And Dillinger grabbing a table. He wants to be known as the hardcore wrestler of Ohio. Possibly the world. But he's starting small. Oh, no, 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 no. Now a table has come out. Wait, dousing a man in gasoline? You consider that small? I'm just saying the localization. Most people want to be the best in the world. Dillinger wants to be the best in Ohio right now. And he believes that Ron Mathis is the best in Ohio. Oh, my God, the security just got dropped. and driven into the cage. That man's got a family, Drew. And he's being graded across the... Well, security and the referees need to get this match in the cage. Oh no, now what? Off the table goes that security guard. Mathis fires back. And again, this is not a match, at least not yet. Lord help us if they get into the cage. Yeah, we are not officially underway here. Oh, what an uppercut by Mathis. Dillinger trying to escape into the cage. Dillinger's in. If we get Mathis in, we can start this thing. They're in the And bell. we are officially underway with this steel cage match. The door is locked. And may God have mercy on their souls. Mathis. Oh my God, a boot right to the midsection. Going for the pile driver early, no. Instead, a power bomb. A power bomb. No, 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 and a chokeslam! Mathis covered by Dillinger. Didn't even get really a one count. Mathis is a crazy SOB. It's breaking down into a slug fast. Did you expect anything different? Big line by Mathis. Oh, what a shot. Shot for Mathis there. Right across the jaw. And a chop echoes throughout the arena. And you know that neither one of those men care about that door. Dillinger could leave right now. But he wants to inflict punishment. Oh man, the top turnbuckle came down again. As if this violent match wasn't violent enough, now we have exposed the turnbuckle in the top corner. So just more steel exposed out here. How much more pain and suffering needs to be done? Oh, God. Can't say Dillinger didn't deserve it after that sneak attack during his entrance. thing that cripples a man, Drew. Yeah, because that's just solid steel right across your spine. That cage might bend a little, but it damn well ain't gonna break. Won't be for a lack of trying, though. That is fair. That is a fair statement. <laughs> Mathis tried to send Dillinger face first into the steel. Dillinger tries to return the favor. Didn't look like Mathis went in face first. He grabbed the top of the cage. Oh, that time. 
Mathis blocked the cage wall with his face. And we apologize in advance once again. This could get graphic. No, no! Oh, Cross the skull. The Neon Tarantino. Oh my God. Mathis can barely defend, oh my God. Mathis can barely defend himself already. Hi trying to hide under a steel chair. Mathis is trying to find safety under a steel chair. What is wrong with him? And this is what Dillinger wanted. This is what Mathis wanted. As we heard from OCW General Manager Glenn Lane, while OCW has sanctioned this match, waivers were signed by both parties. Essentially hold harmless releases. And that means we don't know what's gonna happen in there. And I think Mathis might be busted open. I couldn't get a good look at him. Man, oh man, what the hell is going through the mind of Ron Mathis? What's going through the mind of Derek Dillinger? And yeah, that is definitely some blood there, Drew. Oh my God, it's tripping. Oh God, like a torpedo coming off the ropes. And a leg drop to the back of the head. The director of the production, one count only. Uh, bell clap from behind. Dillinger is psychopathic. There's a special place in hell for Derek Dillinger. And Ron Mathis wants to be the man to send him there. Keep in mind, the only way to win this contest Pinfall, submission, or escape the cage. And just think of what it's gonna take to get us to that point. Both men have been near that cage door. Neither one of them have called for the escape. They just want to inflict pain, suffering. Oh, God. Oh, went for the back suplex. Mathis lands on his feet, close line, sends Dillinger down. Dillinger eats another one. Beautiful neck breaker by pure trash, Ron Mathis. My God, that blood is dripping hard out of the wound from the top of the head. We don't know whether that was made by the steel cage. I would guess that it probably came from that chair shot directly to the top of the head. I don't really want to speculate because right now there are bigger things to deal with. And Mathis has a chair. Oh man, oh man! And now Dillinger is bleeding. We're not even, what, five minutes into this thing. We warned you it would be graphic. My God. Uppercut by Mathis looking to exercise the demons from his life. That main demon is Derek Dillinger. Mathis is like a damn freight train. Looking for the follow oh, slam. slam. It connected. Wow. It's great to know that the blood loss isn't traumatic as Mathis was able to kip up to his feet. And now Mathis looks to begin the ascent. Trying to escape over the top rope and over the top of the cage. Both feet must hit the arena floor to win. Or, of course, pinfall or submission. 
And unfortunately for Mathis, he took too much time and Dillinger makes him pay. That kick might have just broken Ron Mathis' yeah, arm. That's gonna make it hard to climb. Oh, God. The cage used as a weapon again. The damaged arm into the steel. Yeah, keep in mind, there's barbs on that steel, yeah, on that cage. Anybody who's ever been around a, a steel fence knows how dangerous these things are because they're not just straight steel. You have to connect these things, and unfortunately, some welders aren't better than others. Oh, no! Damn you, Dillinger! I say, that arm might be broken. If not, it will be. Remember, another way to win the match is surrender. If you can make your opponent give up, either by tap out or simply giving. Holy hell. This is the most uncomfortable thing I think I've ever seen, Drew. The Dillons are calling for the pile driver. Oh my God. Mathis is just dead weight. He's lost blood. His arm might be broken. Oh, no! Pile driver. Dead center of the ring. Mathis is a corpse. Into the cover, and it is fine. Oh, my God. Mathis kicks out of two. So that just had to be instinct alone. He wasn't moving after that pile driver, so you're right. That is that innate reflex of a professional wrestler. When the shoulders are on the mat, you get them off the mat as quickly as possible. And now a pile of steel forming in the ring. Possessed and will not stop until Ron Mathis no longer exists. Oh my God, what the hell is this? And to be honest, we might say that a lot tonight. But notice Mathis used that injured arm. It immediately caused him to... Now he's using the other arm. He's using the right arm. The left arm is the one that got attacked initially. Mathis adapting, trying to make sure that he has what it takes to survive the steel cage. Oh my God! A superplex onto that pile of steel chairs. Mathis appears to be having a seizure. Both men convulsing in the middle of the ring. And you've seen steel chairs before. They're not perfectly flat, ladies and gentlemen. There are edges to those that you can land on that can cut you and cut you back. Now they're perfectly flat now. This is just... Mathis and Dillinger back to their feet in the corners like prize fighters. Both men right back to their feet. I don't know if either one of these men have all their brain cells in their body right now. There is no quit in either of these two men. They are standing on a pile of steel chairs, slapping the hell out of each other. The slaps have turned to four arms. Ah! Both men down. Center of the ring is Mathis on a pile of steel, 
Dillinger got the better of it. But I also want to point out, Derek Dillinger has thumbtacks in the bottom of his boots. He calls that his trophies from his victims across the country. Are both men going to surrender? Are both men going to be unable to continue the cage? Referees count up to eight. Both, both men, men back climbing up. the cage. Instinct potentially there? Possibly. Oh my God. What is going through the maniacal? Oh, oh my God! A super-sized full Nelson slam onto that pile of chairs. Dillinger pulling himself this is into it. the cover. This is over. No, it is not. The violence must continue. Dillinger looked like he was calling for the door. Yep, Dillinger calling for the door to be opened. Oh, hell, the, the whole damn door fell off. Papa Smurf doesn't know his own strength. Oh! oh. There is no conscience or soul inside of Derek Dillinger. That is a vile, detestable man. I don't want to call him human because I'm pretty sure he's from the seventh circle of hell. Dillinger opting to climb the cage. The door is still open. Dillinger is at the top of the cage. Dillinger is at the top of the cage. He just has to get his other leg over. Dillinger is holding on to the rafters of the building. For the love of God, he might literally tear the roof off this yep. place. <laughs> Dear God. The, oh, God. Dillinger. Mathis is on the other side. Dillinger's sure. on the other side. Who's going to drop? Oh, oh my God. God! Through the table that was set up on the other side of the ring. But whose feet hit first? Who cares? Are they okay? My God! Oh my God! We need medical. We need help. Both men. I have been informed by both Mr. Keystone and Porter O'Shea that both men's feet hit the floor at the same time. Therefore, this contest is a draw. That's the least of our worries right now. We need to make sure that Ron Mathis and Derek Dillinger are healthy. Here comes the OCW general manager. What in the hell is he thinking? No way, no. This is not how OCW works. No way. You two have fought and fought. I fucking beat him. No, no, no. What's gonna happen, fans? What's gonna happen is this match is gonna continue when both competitors get back in the ring. Oh my God, we're restarting the violence. This just, we took, tonight. this just reached a whole new level of violent. I feel like for Glenn Lane, he's just sick of it. He wants this to end once and for all. And what happened in that table mess is not gonna end this thing. 
somebody has to be ended in that case. And I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, there must be a winner tonight. This crowd is bloodthirsty. It is loud in here. Holy hell. director might say, act one has completed. Oh, damn it! Ring the bell. We are officially back underway. Act two begins now. That cage door used as a weapon. Oh, God, the chairs again! That one hit him in the knee! Oh, 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 the chairs! Oh, my God! Mathis, again! This is horrific. This, that time he couldn't even get it. Cover, end this, end it, thank God! What we just saw, were two individuals who gave you their minds, their bodies, and by God, their souls to give you a match for the ages. You will never forget Ron Mathis versus Derek Dillinger inside a steel cage in 2022 or any other damn year. And now the question is, are, the, are they okay? Are they healthy? And I can see his friend Bruce Gray out here. Bruce clapping along after what was honest to God. I've never seen anything like that in my life. This is something that we will talk about for years to come. Absolutely. Wow. 